Sure. Uh, my name is Anthony Romeo, and I'm at Rush University Medical Center, a member of uh, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. My name is Matthew Proventure, and I am in the United States Navy, and I'm stationed at the Naval Medical Center in San Diego, California. One of the things about orthopedics is it really is, uh, it has a tremendous amount of connection with technology. Every new technological advance is somehow applied to one aspect or another what we do because our job is all about making the human body work even better. And technology blended into that aspect uh, allows us to use it for many different things. For, for years in orthopedics, it was more along the lines of carpentry work, how to fix things stronger, how to make things straighter, how to measure things in certain ways. And really in the last 10 years, it's become more along the lines almost of the farming side of technology, and that is how to grow things, how to grow bones, how to grow tendons, how to grow uh, the distant spines. And uh, it's one of the really nice things about our profession is that every day something new is there. And so it's, you wake up every day getting excited to find out what's new and what you can apply to the care of your patients. And, and I would just follow on and say that, that technology has really been a, a great uh, a marriage between the surgeon and the patient and uh, the condition of what you might have. And I think that gets to where technology can really benefit patients. And I, I think our job is to figure out what technology is best for patients because there's a lot of it out there. But at the same time, embracing these uh, techniques and technology that really become important uh, for the betterment of care of the patient's condition. There are so many great features, I think, of this book, and, and a lot of it has to do with partnering with a great publisher. And you were able to, to really give us the opportunity to use some great artistry and great artwork to really illustrate the techniques and the principles of, of what's going on with the shoulder joint and how to do the procedures really quite well. Some of these procedures are, are quite technically challenging. Uh, some are uh, difficult even for the best of surgeons throughout the world that have described the, the procedures. So by having great artwork uh, with video supplements that have been uh, filmed again by the experts throughout the world contributing to the chapters. There's really nothing like it and nowhere is this assembled in all one place uh, in this subspecialty topic, but a very important one that we look at with the shoulder. And I, and I think that um, we, we tried very hard to make each of the authors stick to the principles of management and then provide us with very detailed descriptions of the surgical technique and then that was married with a, a great illustrator. And everything in life is created twice, once in your mind and then once in reality. And I feel like a surgeon will read this, he'll see it in his, in his mind about what needs to be done, the pictures will help facilitate his ability to take it from two-dimensional to three-dimensional, and then the next day when he's in the operating room, everything's gonna come together for him. So I think that's, uh, this book is both a, a textbook about principles, but also a handbook about surgical technique, and those two things together make it extremely useful. One of the other things I, I think that's important in, in this is the publishing community, I think, still is continuing to evolve. Let's face it, my, the residents I have now are learning much different than I learned, and Tony probably learned much different than uh, other of us have learned. So I think we need to find ways to continue to help this product evolve and so that we're allowing people ease of readability, a lot of bulletized text, breakout boxes, highlighting key points, principles, pearls and pitfalls, great anatomic and surgical diagrams. I think this is how we are learning now because, let's face it, orthopedics is a very visual field. Uh, we need to be able to see and understand and process uh, anatomically and pathologically what's going on and then be able to apply those same principles to help uh, fix the patient. And I think the, the textbook is a product of that. It's ease of readability. You can pick it up and read a couple pages and really get a lot out of it. It's not really like a traditional textbook that's thick and packed with a lot of words. We want to really sift it down to the pearls, the pitfalls, and the procedures and principles to help the patient with shoulder instability.